when no Mercury reveals what Peter will be exposed about himself. Obedience after accent in able to release IPOP in and the canoe. Good morning, everyone. Today's headline we have when no Mercury reveals what Peter will be exposed about himself. Obedience after accent in able to release IPOP in and the canoe. In a scattering rebook, Remo Omakri, a former presidential aide, has accused Peter of being a presidential hopeful of exposing his true allegiance that of his supporter known as obedience. OB calls for the release of Inam Dekano, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, has sparked outrage, um, particularly among families of fallen security personnel. Mercury pointed out that Obi has remained silent on the killing of over 100 uh, military and parliamentary officers by suspected IPOB members, yet known, yet now advocating for Kano's freedom. Kano has publicly incited violence against security force, leading to the loss of numerous lives. Mercury questions how Obi loyalty lies, citing, citing the Bible cover verses Jeremiah 13. Jeremiah 13 verse 23, which asks if a leopard can change his spots. Omikiri states a statement suggests that Obi's action have revealed his true priorities and allegiance, which may be odd with unity and security in Nigeria. This development may be significant implication for Obi's presidential ambition as Nigeria increasingly demands leadership and authorized national unity and safety of all citizens. Omikiri, the, the criticism highlights the sensitive nature of Nigerian security challenges and needs for leaders to patronize national unity and safety to own citizens. By calling for a release without addressing the killing of the security personnel, Obi has raised questions about the commitment, con commitment to nat national unity of his fitness to lead the vast country like Nigeria. The IPOP leader in the security Territory and um, and violence had followed, as followed has left a trail of death and destruction with security personnel and innocent, innocent civilians among the victims. Obi silence on this um, atrocity, coupled with his demand for Kano's release, has sparked outrage, rage, rage, question about his loyalty to Nigerian states. As the political landscape hits heat up, Obi's stance on his, the issue may have far reach implications for his presidential application. Nigeria are watching closely, and leaders who patronize national unity and the safety of citizens are likely to gain the trust of support of the electorate. Well, concerning this action, you don't know who Peter Obi is. He is the um, presidential coordinator of of the Labour Party, the reigning Labour Party, who was more recognized like in, in the last year um, elections. So Peter Obi recently he asked he, he demanded for the release of Inandi Kano. And this is statements has caused like widespread attention. People are like, what? What is he saying? How will you ask for the um, demand of Inandi Kano? Knowing for well what the IPOP um People, the Bavarian people has done to some security personnel, some some army who had they killed some people and some civilians. So why would they be asking for the um, for the release of the leader? I was saying it's actually barbaric is wrong. He's just saying uh, citing rubbish. And why would Peter Obi be talking this kind of things in his mouth? Knowing full where he is running for a presidential candidate in, in 2027. So people are like questioning his um, leadership, saying that oh, if you come to, if you eventually be the president, okay. You are going to release Nandika. This is what you want to do. So, uh, if you release Nandika, before you know, it's Biafra is out of Nigeria. Even people will tell you, okay, this is what you, is that what you want to do? Is the people are very questioning? Okay, this is what you want to do? And Omikiri say that Omikiri say that okay, this statement he has made has revealed his true intention to Nigeria. That even this statement that is made is going to affect his um, presidential um, application. Um, in so because people are actually are closely watching him, watching him, and if he does this, eventually, some people is going to like hate his regime. So, Moke even made a statement, even using um, Bible, um, a Bible verse saying that if a real part can change his spot, who is um, um, Peter, who can't actually change in a in a twinkle of an eye. So he's saying that um, the coming now has 
revealed where he actually lies in what his plan for Nigeria is by releasing the indigenous people of MBFA, which the, the federal government has named MBFA as a as a terrorist group. So he, people are and people in some other people's minds are saying that um, Peter Obi is trying to release the terrorist leader and also release terrorists in Nigeria. If ever if eventually he becomes um the president of Nigeria. Why some haters are saying that see what you're doing is actually wrong for Nigeria because you releasing them they kind of just making make things um worse. So the, like now I guess people people will start reducing the support they are giving Peter will be concerned his next um presidential um, election. Some people may run away from his um his um party and go to join other people um other presidential candidates and party because they don't want um this to actually happen in the future. They don't want the religious people of Biafra leader to be released. They want Biafra to they want the South East Eastern people to still stay under Nigeria because they feel that Nigeria is one. They have ever been they have always been Nigerians. So why the essence of them living? Why would they want to live? Where do they want to go to? But I feel that me in my way, I feel that the it's high time the um, president should See reason in religion in them can rather than detaining him there. Detaining him there won't actually solve anything, won't actually solve any problem. It just make things worse. Ever since he has detained um um kind of in, in in detention, the killings hasn't stopped. Nothing has stopped. It is just it just becoming worse, worse and worse by the day. The killing hasn't stopped. So you releasing in the can I guess maybe if you release that the leader, I guess things may actually the killings and the things you actually release in the south eastern part of the country because a few people are actually doing this because of their leader has been in detention for over like a over four years going to five years now so if you actually release their leader maybe if you guys can come in one-on-one -on -one dialogue with each other maybe you could see if um you could see reason if reason in what they actually want and maybe then they could actually see reason what nigeria wants and maybe they will be actually peace in both um side so so this detention, which the federal government has, uh, the DSS has made concerning him, uh, and they can even do the federal high court has granted him bail, but they keep keep on um, detaining him. People are actually seeing it as persecution of human rights. I seen it as persecution because they're holding a a a person out of his own will. They are detaining a person out of his own will, depriving him of his freedom. Even the the court has actually granted him bail. Why is he still holding him? Why? That's why people are already. That's why politicians from the southeastern part of the country, even international bodies, are begging on the um the federal government to release him. And it has it has here they have detained him for over too long. They should release him. So don't they should not actually blame Peter Obi from 